up, YouTube? Mr. La Messi here, and today we're jumping into part hell of the Plague Javelin, Poison Javelin uh, playthrough, guided playthrough, let's play, whatever you want to call it. I'm like years into this series, and I still don't exactly know what name I'm going to use, but I think the let's play is the best for it all. Um, yeah, so this is going to be part hell. We're going to do a little bit more in Nightmare because I do want to go show the cows and a little bit of that just for a little bit of fun where you can farm, blah, blah, blah. Um, but we'll jump into hell, we'll kill some bosses and see how it goes. I mean, I don't even know how this is going to go. I don't even know how it's going to get at the end. We'll just see. We'll have to try it out and see, you know. So let's dive in. First things first, I want to go back to Nightmare because I do want to do the cows. I feel like cows would be really fun. Also, there are, this is online, and you can see Flare Jungle, Flare Dungeon is actually a uh, terror zone. And that would actually be, honestly, a pretty solid place for my character to level up. Like, no lie, there's actually decent experience in the Flare Jungle. It's one of the best zones that there is. So, Kind of don't hate it. And again, this is I'm level 52, so that means this area is level 54. You can see in the top right. And there will be a lot of experience out here for us. Very easy leveling up. So this is also something to note. If you're playing offline, of course, you don't have this option, which is why I'm not going to spend a ton of time out here and getting all the experience. But I do just want to mention it and show it to you guys. If you're online, hey, once you've beaten Bale, you can go back and fight like this. You can go and do this stuff. So you have that opportunity. You have that option right there. But of course, if not, if you're on single player, you can always do high player count um, Eldritch. This is always a very nice, uh, nice way to get a lot of experience. Just do like players five, players seven, players eight, whatever it is. Um, Eldritch kills, and that's a great place, of course, to get experience. Easy level ups right there. Um, and additionally, we can go back and we will do uh, the um, save cane and do some cows just for some fun right here. But always good to have options. See the different things that you can do. Mm -hmm. We just gotta get our leg really fast. Also, of course, we are continuing to dump into Valkyrie right here. Um, I'm just gonna get our Valkyrie maxed. We do have the Valkyrie from Peace, which is nice. It is level 15. You actually get a nice little boost at level 17. She gets even stronger. So that'll be uh, kind of nice. I want to get to up to that point. We'll just see how it goes. Hey, we got the perfect circle. Nice. Uh, I didn't do the gear skill recap yet. This is my skill tree. And this. Very basic. Stats. Very basic. Just kind of enough for some gear here and there. Without delay. And we can move this in here and do that. We have a spell steal. We don't actually need it, even though it could be fun to use. Venom grips could actually be kind of nice later. I'm going to get rid of this. And we can drop an Eldrin, an Ethrin, an Ithrin. Don't really feel like we need all that. OK. Gear is this, just plus one, lore, um, 10 faster run walk, and 20 life. We tried to craft it, but it rolled druid skills. Rhyme shield, 30 fast run walk, 25 fire res, 50 life, 21 fire res, 30 light res, 11 mana, and 20 light res, 19. And then a piece right there. And then life and fire res charms. 
Let's see what we get here. 20 fire res. So not bad. It depends if we'll uh, want more fire res or, or not later on. Okay, let's go do some cows and see how our nightmare cows goes. I imagine this will go decently well. This is a fantastic place to get bases, if you guys remember. So if we're looking for, you know, a nice weapon for our mercenary, something like that, we definitely want to look around at what drops out here. As there's just a lot of bases that can drop a lot of things we can go and Snag may be helpful for the character. Yada yada yada. You can check this. That's four open sockets. A bill would be great. I'd also take any four open socket uh, pole arm. That would also be very nice. Like I say, this is a place as well where you can farm this many times. First off, you can see my experience is going up. It's uh, got decent experience for sure, so I'm not upset at all about the experience gained. Um, but additionally, uh, like I say, so many bases, so many charms, runes, jewels, gems, all sorts of things drop out here. If you want to raise it up to like players three or something, if you're on single player, you can do that as well. Cold Master just makes cold work better. Yeah, it might just make cold work better. Cold, cold source is very strong right now. Did I watch Monday Night Football? You mean Sunday Night Football? Eh, I didn't get to watch a lot of it. Cooper Rush did his best, you know. He's a backup. Leave it in, thank you. Mm, two to combat skills. And thank you, Chong Lee wins as well for the Cheers sub. From California, the true chaos sanctuary. <laughs> Eth sword there. It's a fun little event, giving away free stuff there. That's what it is, Emroy. Very self-explanatory. Mm, still no pole arms, really. I'm in these swords instead. Well, worst case, we just get a level out of it. I don't even know what that means. Oh, no, it's a free lunch. The arena event is happening on Friday. No, it should be Friday, right? Does it say Wednesday? Oh, maybe Wednesday then. Thought it was Friday. <laughs> Can you change my command then? Uh, let me check that really fast. Back to the old room? Yeah, alright. Friday it is. Or Wednesday it is. 
Back to the old room, yes. I would like to get our mercenary a little... Yeah, I know, we could use a little foam on it. A little more. But... Can't get the exceptional basis to drop. How hard is it to find Bill? Yay, Glee, thank you! Appreciate the... Tough one. For sure, Sunny. Guess not. That's okay. Perfect, Kubi. Uh -huh. uh, max stamina. There. Now. Random pole axe, yeah. Uh, can you change it to not Amazon India, but to uh, just Amazon? So, one thing we can of course do here is look for plus two javelin and spear skills on gauntlets. Yes, dude. <laughs> <laughs> and this is an easy way to just shop them. You can just go back and forth here. And if we could get, you know, plus one, plus two, that would be very nice, honestly, for this character. More vitality. For now. 20 IAS. Also not bad. I, not always towards Evers, but we do have guides for all classes all over the place, yes? What do you need? What about being present to win? Uh, does it say be present to win on his? I feel like giving people like 24 hours is usually a good idea. Is this a 220 shopping stream? So I don't actually need the IAS, right? That's the one thing that is really kind of nice about this, is we don't need IAS at all. Oh. Miam, thank you. All we need is plus to, plus to uh, javelin and spear skills. Right? And we don't even need it. This is just kind of showing that you can shop as such. And just look for, you know, look for some gloves. And again, the IAS is not hugely important. It would be like slightly helpful. So obviously if you've got some 220s or something, like don't let those go, but. There. SSF is solo self found. Come on, I just want. I'll even take some martial arts ones just to know I'm not crazy and they can be here. Two to passive and magic skills. Perfect. Honestly, these aren't bad because that boosts our Valkyrie up, which is kind of nice. But right there is a great example of what we're looking for, except we want to be 
javelin and spear skills instead of passive and magic. Like I say, yeah, this is the thrilling content you sub for. It's not the, uh, you know, it's not required. It will add probably another two, 3,000 damage, which I do think would be very helpful for this character. As once she gets to hell, it's going to get a little bit more difficult. But I'm willing to do, you know, just a few more tries at it and then bounce forward and and uh, move on from it. I'm totally good with that. So we can we can try a couple more times. If she doesn't got it, she just doesn't got it. You know, it, it gives people the idea, though, of how long it can take, what they can look to do, blah, blah, blah. So that being said, let's go to hell. Let's go ahead and get started. We can take a look at our resistances. They're okay. They're not great. But they're okay. Fire's a little bit low. Cold is a little bit lower, but mm, cold's not quite as important. We can always drink some uh, juvies. Now, what we can still do, of course, is just keep a little distance and fire from afar, as we do still have really good damage. We're still a little bit in that glass cannon style, which is just how this character is generally going to be. I mean, she, do she does have a little bit of life on her, so that at least is helpful, right? We have about a thousand life, so that's good. Um, but she is going to be a little, uh, you know, fragile in some, some areas. And here we can just lay down some poison damage on some zombies. Use our experience shrine. Let's see how we can do. Now, zombies also aren't our preferred minion to kill, but with this experience shrine and a couple boss groups right next to me, I feel like... Alright, I'll, I'll, I'll kill a couple zombies for all of that experience right there. And this character really will have a decent time at leveling, um, which is a really nice thing, right? It's kind of a, a big benefit to her is... She'll be, she'll be very solid in any time you don't have really these poison immunes, but you can come out to Act 1. There's a ton of areas in Act 1 that you can just go and kill a lot of stuff and really get decent experience. The, the poison damage is not bad at all. I do think it'll have some issues when you get to, like, you know, Hell Chaos Sanctuary and stuff. That's not going to be a fun time. But... If you're just wanting to level up and kill some stuff, you can really just rain it down. And, I mean, you can see how quickly poison is, you know, taking care of a lot of stuff. And, again, obviously zombies are going to be not as fun for trying to kill as they do have some poison resist. So, not, a, not one that you're generally going to want to be trying to fight, but that's okay. Perfect. Drunk gambling stream win. Uh, what? We're level 54 right now. Not really mastery. And I also do really wish... Ooh, 18 to life small charm is a keeper. I do really wish we had a... Uh, whatever piece. <laughs> Not nature's piece. Um, a mercenary, like, that could do some decent damage. We do 10 to 11k damage, which is not bad. 
So I, we, we have a lot of stuff where our mercenary can almost be ready. We're really just looking for that base. Just, just a, a three open socket or four open socket. Both are honestly fine. And both just will lead to different builds for him. I'd prefer a four open socket, I think. Make the insight. Insight's just very good. We could do insight duress and that'd be very strong. I do think Crescent Moon would also be okay. So without a lot of crowd control, the mercenary will still probably be in trouble and die an okay amount of the time. Unfortunately. So in that case, it's almost like maybe getting that Act 5 mercenary is a little better because the Act 5 mercenary actually uh, tanks up a little bit better. I have a guide video about changes for D2R. I mean, there's many of them because there's been multiple changes over the time here. Yeah, Holy Freeze Mercenary would be great. Get a Holy Freeze Merce. Give them, you know, Insight into Rest or something like that. But even still, he'll just die. <laughs> We don't really need to do the Den of Evil here. It's just this character kind of can pretty simply, I feel like. Um, since you don't run into poison immunes. But zombies are going to be a little bit slow. So. It's kind of the map part with it. Another point in Valkyrie. The sisters will trust me. Uh, if there is shipping, then yes, Mutalist. Not here. Tried the Phoenix S in Hardcore Lair. It's a bit too risky. It's a little scary there, yeah. And another skill point into Valkyrie. Perfect. Two more skill points there. But... Like I was saying, out here in the cold plains, I think it's actually a great place, for example, where you can just go level up and enjoy. Because again, you can just lay down some big poison. These mobs are not going to be, uh, you know, poison immune. Nice and simple. And you'll just be able to kill a lot of stuff super easily. A lot of easy experience here. There's a soul rune. Let me take those. It's just kind of a, a throw it and run sort of thing. Just nice and simple. I mean, that is a decent chunk of experience running behind us. And it's not, like, scary at all, really. Nothing to to be too worried about. So you could totally just reset your cold planes a few times and just run through your cold planes multiple times and be totally fine. Get all these boss groups out here. Rinse and repeat. You could increase the player count for it if you're on single player, whatever. Uh, I think it'd be super, super easy. Plus, there's lots of experience shines and stuff out here, which is really nice. Now, here we do have some poison immune. We do 10k to 11k poison. So, if we do roll the wrong mobs out here, we do have to, of course, be aware of that. But otherwise, pretty, uh, pretty easy. I'm not gonna lie. Easy. 
easy level ups all over the place. Another point in Valkyrie. More vitality. Keep going. No train gloves? It's solo cell found. I love train gloves. We deal with what we get. Probably crawl. Sounds like time to hang it up. Definitely feel How many sockets will a few seen I get. We can take a look at that in a second here. Um Fushina gets four open sockets. It's a spear, though. Alright. Can't do it. Would have been nice. But. Need a non spear. Need a pole arm there. I feel like this build's also just a decently safe build because you really are spending a lot of time away from monsters. The biggest scare is that you don't have a directly great crowd control if you get kind of caught, you know. There's definitely a couple situations where saving, quitting, or something is going to have to occur. But other than that, I feel extremely safe. Then I cast both the same thing kind of makes it. Oh, thanks, command. Okay, we also can do uh, the tower if we want. Ghost will be a little bit annoying, but otherwise, really shouldn't be too bad. And anytime you run into a poison group like that, just avoid it. Remember, you don't have to kill everything. A lot of people think, you know, they get in situations and they need to kill all the stuff, but you don't. No, it's just a softcore guy to play through here. Why save and quit? Well, sometimes you don't want to die still. But I'm saying, if you were playing on hardcore, this build, I think, so far, would easily have gone through it. And just have uh, a little bit of, you know, dancing to do and potentially save quitting in certain areas if needed. Grab more rejuice. Another point in Valkyrie, up to level 15 Valkyrie. That was kind of disgusting. <laughs> Had a whole little pack waiting for us there to greet us. More vitality. And we'll continue on. Level 57 already, which is crazy. We're not even really trying to level that much. I'm just kind of tossing down a couple javelins as I run. Poison. Don't need that. 
We also still have our Nightmare Im Imbue, and we can always come back and get our Hell Imbue whenever we would like. But yeah, I feel like a lot of... Ah, oh, it's a blue bill. So close. Mm -mm. I feel like a lot of, uh, you know, again, characters and stuff, you're, you're having to fight for all the experience here and there. It's like looking for just the right mobs and whatever. But this character, I mean, like I say, really. One second. Um, this character just really is super easy to just say toss it down With this build naturally getting Valk to max you think it is better For solo than light. I mean anytime you're maxing out Valkyrie. I think it's pretty solid for um, You know playing through like nice and easy solo uh, blue Shaco Because it just feels really good like, when you max Valk, you can just kind of put your Valk up. And then you just feel like, I'm invincible, you know? I do think Javazon and, and going for Light is still stronger and faster. However, um, yeah, you are going to have to kind of commit a little bit more into, you know, that. Oops, that's not the low resist. So you don't, you aren't really able to get, but you can use the, you know, Valkyrie that you get from Peace, and maybe that's okay. I feel like that can be kind of up to the individual for their own decision. We got another jewel, perfect. We can do some crafting. The damage is weak. Uh, oh no, this damage is really good actually. It's poison damage. It's going to take a few seconds. But again, you're not having to dive in, dump a bunch of mana, do a bunch of, you know, Novaing in the middle, stuff like that. Like, it's really... Oh, wait. Where's Lobby? I don't even know. Block. Unable to ignore. Unable to ignore. Here. It's very easy and it's solid damage. You have to also remember different monsters have different, you know, elements. So, for instance, ghosts have high poison resist. So do skeleton archers and stuff. So those ones are going to be tough. Tainteds don't really. So the tainteds will die decently quickly. For a random level 57 that only had to invest 40 points. Kills pretty quickly, honestly. With a nice big AoE, you know. Now, again, is it hammers? No. But if you're coming in to to the expectation of most any guided playthrough of will this rival hammers and stuff, uh, you're gonna be a fool. <laughs> the answer is always no. Pull axe, I mean, it's not what we really want. It is four open sockets though. Annoying. That is annoying. I mean, the damage will still be okay on it. We would have Infinity and stuff, or not Infinity, Insight. We would have the Valkyrie. Holy Freeze potential. 
I, I still do just believe the mercenary is going to get decked pretty quickly. My biggest fear. I think we'll invest a lot. But that's okay. Alright, Valkyrie level 16. More vitality. Now, if you would like to farm, Helendariel is not a bad farm spot at all. See these ghouls and stuff? They're going to have high immune, though, high resistance. So not a great one. Um, yeah, it just might take a little bit of time. Should be a waypoint, I think. Yep. Okay. Oh, I'm in level three. Sorry. But yeah, if you're in level four there, or level two, you can get that waypoint. And, I, you know, Helendariel, great place to farm for Shaco and things of that nature. So lots of good items can drop here. Oops. Let's put our lower resist one on. Let's go ahead and uh, go to town really fast. Maybe we'll get a Shaco. How does that sound? Amazon skills? Not quite. But we do have the ability here to craft again. So let's try let's try doing a little bit of something something. We can also make duress Shale um Thol. Do I have another Thol rune is the question. Shale um I may have to morph some runes. I don't see a Thal rune. Okay. And Ort, Ort. Wait, I thought I had another Ort. There we go. Thal, perfect. Shell, I'm Thal. Now we make Duress, which has some resistances, open wounds, crushing blow, hit recovery, all of that. Which is nice. I'm just going to resurrect Rosin for now. He's not going to be able to wear that. Okay, we'll need to get a new mercenary. Um, and then we can make I can't carry anymore. Insight, Ral, Tear. Tal Sol. It is just a Polaxe level 12 meditation. Oof. But that's okay. Alright. We don't really care about the meditation that much, so it doesn't it doesn't matter. Now we can take the amulet, the jewel. A perfect amethyst and a Rao rune, because I don't think I have a perfect ruby, no. Let me go take that Rao rune I sold. And we'll craft a trash amulet, unfortunately. Nothing good. But it was worth a shot. <laughs> I just I just was trying to you know hit the hit the long shot. We have another perfect amethyst. We're out of Rao runes, but I th I have three Tau runes, so we'll be good right there. Okay, all good. And here we can just. Lay down some nice poison into Endario. Yeah, it's really fun to just craft while you're leveling up. You're not going to hit, you know, big money often. I mean, again, crafting just overall rarely feels like it hits big money anyways. Crafting's pretty rough in Diablo 2. But... You can hit some nice things, and especially when you're playing through. I mean, even this... Amulet that we have right now is pretty solid. 10 fast run walk, 20 life. 
Like, that's not bad. How do I adjust the crafting system? Llama RPG will have my adjusted crafting system. Demon hide armor, ring. How easy was that? Give yourselves a clap, everybody. You are level 58, finishing up act one, heading into act number two. Pretty simple. And there you go, you got skin of the flayed one. Replenish life, 22. Not bad at all. It's like a upgraded version of bone flesh. Cold rest, 17. Uh, let us get repair. And we'll put some rejuves away here. And go as such. Perfect. Okay. So now let's go ahead and get a new mercenary and we'll see how they go we'll see how they go um still not letting me get holy freeze if that happens you can literally just rejoin the game and go try again uh we'll highlight it soon here ragnar I mean, uh, am I crazy? Why don't, why don't you like Holy Freeze? I don't understand, game. It's never given me the option for Holy Freeze. Yes, now Hell has the ability to have all of the auras. Nightmare in Hell will give you all options. Potentially. I do wish they would make it so it would actually happen. All right, Zanari is our guy. Duress for him. Insight for him. His resistances are okay, but he could use some fire and light res. Um, this is where I actually do like to... Oh, Mav's belt is nice if I want that faster run walk. This is where I, I do like getting like a, a helmet and um, putting like a rowl in it and such. So we can go back to normal. And just look for a two open socket really quickly. There's so much shopping you can do in this game, man. It's it's actually really fun that you can kind of find little things here and there. I have not mentioned. What you need? Two open sockets. And we can make a row room. And we don't have another ort, but I do want to get him an ort. So let's go ahead and go to Nightmare. We did not shop any Java Gloves yet. And let's go to the Frigid Highlands. Kill some things while we save some barbarians. And no barbs there. Which class has been the funniest to do a playthrough on? I don't know about funniest. A lot of them have been very surprising and different in their own ways, which is, you know, nice. Okay. One barb saved. Let us out. Second barb saved. 
And again, I'm not even sure Zanari's really gonna do great with this, but it's worth a shot. Maybe for a tiny bit at least. Okay. Third barb saved. Let's go get our runes. And the nice thing is, we can still take this duress, we can still take this armor. I'm gonna do Ort Ral, give that to him, and now his resistances will be better there in hell. Um, and we can take that armor and stuff and still be able to use it for like an Act 5 mercenary. Because again, I do think an Act 5 mercenary actually does end up a little bit stronger. He's a little bit more defensible in like, you know, solo self found sort of ways. All right, immune to poison. We leave that alone. Mercenary is 69 and all the resistances. That's decent. Favorite playthrough? I really liked the uh, Smite was actually surprisingly really nice. And I really liked the um, not Zealot. Uh, what should we call it? The Vengeance Paladin. The Avenger. Actually kind of fun. Since I use Larzic for spirit, should I make another tune for another Larzic? Or you have to do the Nightmare one? I mean, you can do either, you know. Socket quests aren't too crazy to come by. You can always just get another character, get it rushed up, and have a socket. So, I always think kind of use them as you... As you can. The Avenger was old. Ish. Not like crazy, crazy old, but it was an LOD still. Yeah, now I suppose finding a... Yeah, and down he goes. It's just gonna be really hard to keep him alive. Now I suppose finding a good sword would, would do us well. It's honestly probably the next really solid thing to do. Because then we could get that Act 5 mercenary going. She Hawk is joining the Avengers. Not gonna lie, I don't I don't keep up much with the Marvel stuff. It's too much. Too much stuff. Does this guy play through with the new GCs? No, there's no new GCs being used. Those can't be used till level 75 anyways, so. Those will never really come into play on guided playthrough styles. Uh, I like the Eth Reaper's Toll, personally. Again, we kill what we can, we leave what we can't. And here you can see your Valkyrie is actually, now she's level 17 even, she'll be even stronger. Um, your Valkyrie is now tankier than your Mercenary is. Can withstand uh, everything even more. It actually goes okay. I've, I've done it before, Commander. It's actually surprisingly decent. Blue Pike. Just found your first mangs. Nice. Now she gets, like, upgraded weapons, I believe. 
Beetle Burst with Conviction Aura is a little scary, so definitely be a little careful anytime you run into Conviction Aura in Hell. But again, the nice thing with this character is one, we do get to keep our distance. But additionally, you aren't doing stuff that's procking a lot of like bolts and stuff like that. Like poison is a just a dot. It's a slow tick. So you don't have to worry near as much about danger of like beetles and such, right? Like there's not all of these bolts flying out everywhere. Everything just kind of slowly goes down until it dies and then releases one set. We'll leave a TP right there. Is Valk the strongest summon? Yeah, I would say it's the strongest summon in the game. It can solo the whole game by itself. So good. Okay. And we'll go to the Lost City. Clay Golem can die? What are you talking about? You'll have to be a little careful in here. The nice thing is our poison damage will do well, but the bad news is... So with snakes and stuff we can do okay, but the embalms will be uh, an issue for us. So you may just have to either A, go a little slower through here, or B, just do a little more dodging. Definitely can be a not super fun area. You can also reset for an easier map if you ever want to do that. Oh, hello. Yeah, but Clay Golem also doesn't really do a lot of damage. Whereas Valk can also do a lot of damage. Okay, so we've got that. Now let's go and uh, go into the Maggot Lair. And again, we're not going to need to kill everything in, in the Maggot Lair. That took a while unadorned. We can skip a lot of stuff down here. Our main goal is just get through. <laughs> so if you want to stop and kill a few things, go ahead. If you get some like beetles in the way, sure, that's fine. We'll actually kill beetles pretty quickly, which is nice. But you'll only run into like the little maggots and stuff down here that'll be poison immune. down the hurt. So we have here. This is one of those areas where it can get a little dicey. Put up a little decoy if we want as well. For a little more survivability. Not bad. Not bad at all. We got a boss group in here. Anytime you run into a boss group like that, extra fast, extra strong, you can just hide behind your, your Valkyrie. I mean, that's one of the big beauties there. We'll also buff her up again. So now she's level 18 when we resummon her. And she's just getting thick. Teleport past the poison immune, and level three it is. Level 17 replaces Lance with rare war pike, yeah. 
And that rare war pike can roll like amazing stuff. Cruel, all that stuff. Perfect. And there you go. Nice and simple. Is Icy Vein to my site? I do not own the site, but I, I am the writer for the Diablo section on the site. Yes. So those are all my guides up there. Let's go to the Arcane Sanctuary. Which is also, honestly, another slightly scary area for us. Um, just because ghosts can be a little, a little bit annoying. But again, remember that you can go at whatever speed you want. You're also probably leveling up more than I am. I am level 60. But again, that just kind of is naturally coming because this character just happens to pick up experience decently well while running. I'm not really, you know, forcing it really hard or anything which is which is super nice i mean again that's a that's a lovely thing about this character is she's very easy to level i could go back to nightmare and honestly just do a bunch of farming into like terror zones if i'm online i think that would totally be a thing to do run a few of those flare jungles you know when that was a terror zone and boom now all of a sudden i'm in this like really good spot um so you know you can you can do different Different things, whatever you want, but like I say, you'll, you'll probably be a little bit higher level, get that Valk more maxed out, which is really nice. Yes, this will be on L YouTube, as they say in Spain. You can always just t check and see. I mean, again, I feel like killing stuff in like uh, Cold Plains, Darkwood, Sunnyfield, that sort of stuff is just super easy killing, you know? Super easy experience. But this is also not bad either. I mean, very simple kills right now. Very little effort required. Oh, no binary. Maybe we should. <laughs> nice and easy. Okay, so I think character to socket quest. You just have a friend rush there. If you don't want to do that, you can do like a sorcerer speedrun or something to get yourself there. But another jewel, so we can craft again. Perfect. So arcane sanctuary again. You go as. Uh, <laughs> you go as fast or as slow as you want in here. You can kill all the mobs as they come at you. You can try and like take your time more on them, and or you can try and rush through. Your poison damage will kill everything in here as well, so that is nice. You don't have to worry about like, oh no, I'm not gonna be able to kill you know, a third of the monsters or anything. It's just the ghosts may be a little bit annoying. We could probably bring him back right here. He was having some death issues earlier.
We could try him out again, see if he'll do a little bit better in this area. Kind of depends the area, how he's going to do, you know? But I don't want to be dumping too much money on him, only to be losing him over and over and over again. I mean, he's going to cost us, you know, 24 grand right there. And if you're, again, you know, it goes down to how fast you're trying to get through as well. Because if you have him, you have your Valkyrie, you have, you know, your damage, you have your decoys as well, whatever. Like, if you slow play it, your Mercenary generally is going to be able to do a lot better with it. The faster you try and play through, the harder it'll be for the Mercenary. Man, thank you. Ooh, curse isn't nice. Okay, not right, second way. We'll continue. Oh, single player. Uh, yeah, just doing like a, a basic playthrough then of the game and give some like gear to help out. I guess would probably be your best bet. Yeah, Plague Javelin's uh, quite safe. Down goes the mercenary. You can only watch him so much, you know. Eventually he's responsible for himself. If it ever gets a little spicy, feel free to just back away. Take a second. Let your poison keep ticking. This is the third way. Look at, look at the Valkyrie compared to the Mercenary. Such a tank, man. Oh my god, it's a fourth way. <sighs> and sometimes you fourth way it. Oh boy, that's not good. Do I intentionally fourth way it every time? Why wouldn't I intentionally first way it every time then? Everything's resistant to hell or poison. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff that's resistant to poison. So, you know, that is one thing you'll have to recognize and slightly deal with with this build. I mean, every build has an upside and a downside. The upside is stuff that isn't resistant to poison is very easy to kill. Hello, everyone. You know? Quick announcement here. I'll be dropping free gear that'll get you going up to hell mode, hopefully. And I'm talking about at least 20 items here now. It will be US Ladder East F R E E G E A R. Community, come and get it. US I'll Ladder keep the game East. Open for 30 minutes. Good luck. Free gear. That's a lot of. That's a long name. Ban the scammer? Yeah, probably. <laughs> Not a great spawn of mobs. If we wanted, we could reset, try and get a better spawn. But it would also reset our uh, tomb and stuff, so. 
That'd be annoying. Griffin's eye price? It probably depends to Griffin's, but... Oh, jeez. Okay. And we take our staff over. We set our Valkyrie up. And we jam it in there. 16, 14, not bad. Have you thought about doing hardcore oh, my ladder next player ladder? My single sorceress is level Maybe. 90 and just got infinity. What should I farm to get to level 93 for crafting? Mm, Bell waves are probably the best still from 90 to 93. So, it is time for Senor Duriel. You know what that means. Drink up. Also get ready there. That gives us our cold res. And we can lay down the hate. Thank you, Black Gaver. And our Valk is such a tank. shots from Duriel, man. Some good tanking right there. <laughs> Butternut squash. Oh, maybe someday. Beats me. So, Joe. Yeah, she's going to make uh, bosses a lot easier with that. If I'm not eating butternut squash, what am I doing with my life? I'm making Diablo 2 content! That's what I'm doing. Is it the fastest boss killer in the game? Does it kill bosses? Yeah. GG! Down goes Act 2. One more clap. Yes, s &T you can. Another point in Valkyrie. And five more in Vitality, level 61. I mean, we're already over-leveling, but it's just so easy. It's just so easy there. Uh-huh. Money, J Tando. All res six. Not quite enough. Do I have another Rowan? I do. So if we just get an amulet... We'll be good, but for now, let's continue into Act 3. When we get an amulet, we can try another crafted caster, Ami. I'd love another uh, blood amulet try, but we don't have that perfect yet. So let's do Act 3. I know, s and I know. Nasty stash. The stash is beautiful. Thank you, Zachary, by the way, for that sub. Now, poison is actually pretty nice considering uh, how awful it is to try and go through Act 3 with the lightnings on. It's really rough. Probably help it unadorned. Put us here. Nice and easy. What would this bring from the right fire? Nice and easy. Mm 
Now, some people might also just grind for, yeah, Sunder prior or something. But you could. For a lightning and then come through it. That would help it a lot. Ooh, hello damage. Now, it will be a little hard in the spiders. So we are gonna be very uh, in and out right here. Try and bounce over, snag it, and leave. We can kill these flame spiders, but even they have an okay poison immune, just being spiders. So we'll uh, get out of there if we can. No reason to stick around. That is death if that guy pops on me. There we go. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. Well, Venom messes with poison damage a lot because it shortens it so much. So that would actually be really bad, I'm pretty sure. Okay, we have the Great Marsh there. We're just going to check if we can continue or not. We get a Flare Jungle somewhere else. This is so much better than a lightning zon right now. So much nicer. Way less stress. I'm not feeling great about it being a flare jungle though. Feels like it's gonna top out. Oh no, we did get there, nice. Very nice. And again, just like we farmed Flare Jungle before, we could totally farm Flare Jungle again. For more experience, it is a place that actually does pretty well for this character. Get the Jidbin. And keep going. Can you do endgame as it? I I want to test further with endgame on it, but I do think you can actually. Let's see, it is garbage. Unfortunate, nothing really on there. Alright, let's go back out. Set a TP so we can come back to the flare jungle later. We've got enough potions and such. I also have spare jabs in case these run out of quantity. Yeah, P1 hell, totally fine. Is it gonna be a P8 killer? Probably not. <laughs> All right, let's go find a waypoint. Might be one of the easiest Act 3 playthrough characters I've done in a while. It's chilling, man. And the nice thing is, her potion usage is so low 
that you really don't feel this like crazy rush of I need to get more potions and stuff. Also no souls. I mean, we just skip the Great Marsh, yeah. If you do have to go through the Great Marsh and you do run into souls and they're just too brutal, reset the game. Get the Spider Forest Waypoint, reset the game until you don't need to go through the Great Marsh. That is, that is my advice to you. You can also try and go through, you can try and stack up your lightning res somehow further, whatever, but it's so much easier if you just, just don't, just, just accept that sometimes you get hit with the souls and the souls are just too nasty and you just leave them alone. Plain and simple. <laughs> Not saying you have to have Wisp and all of that. T-Gods, anything, just... Now, if you do have some gear that you're helping your character along with or something, of course that stuff can be helpful. And another to Valkyrie. A blue Archon staff? Wait, what? The zone can drop Archon Stabs? Flare Dungeon 1? What? Did they change the level of the Flare Dungeon? Apparently I missed half of hell. Yeah, where were you, Zales? We were all waiting. Everybody was like, where's the Zales at? Experience, also a lot of danger right there. Should be higher. What to go to levels? What do you mean? Nice god trick, yeah. Almost hit the perfect one. Get him. Rare demon head. All right. Yeah, Valk. Can we get a sub goal for Llama to clean his stash up? What's wrong with my stash? Ugh. 40, 550, we'll go clean it up. There you go, make it nice and pretty. Ooh, there we go, we can craft again. I'm sure you guys could get there right now with just prime sub people are sitting on they they forgot to use. 9% extra gold, 11 max damage. Only 64 away from a cleaned up stash. Oh, Valkyrie, how I love you. You're better than a mercenary, and you're free and can be resummoned. Since we are begging, cheeky smiley face. <laughs> Eris Chaos, thank you. Appreciate it. 
Now, just like we talked about in Nightmare, in Hell you have the exact same thing as before, except you can get even better bases and higher runes. So you can always run around. I have a whole video on LK running, but here you can run around and pop all the different things. Just looking for different stuff. Neobium Fire, thank you as well. Baskets and skeletons and logs and armor stands. Oh, there we go. We got a rare circlet. That's nice. And of course, on P7 and 8, chances for Burrune, Sarun, all that goes up in these super chests right here. So, if you're looking for high runes, you can always run around. But again, even just high runes, mid runes, jewels, um, you know, gems, charms, all that stuff. This is a great place to snag a few extra just like beefy charms to help yourself out get yourself a charm with like 20 fire res and stuff like that a bunch of life all these things last layer thank you very much continuing the gifted sub you got check out the circlet two to passive and magic skills eight mana steal eight life steal wow 20 decks brutal Brutal, brutal, brutal. Yeah, this is ladder. So again, not only on ladder are we going to be, uh, you know, having to deal with online play, all that stuff with it. Not being able to like save and quit and rejoin the same game, same map, all that. I guess you can rejoin the same game, but I'm, I don't have it set for that. We also have it harder because ladder is more difficult. So, just something to remember. Dark Retribution, thank you. Still need a four open socket bill. Yeah, I mean, it'd be nice, but we've, we've given up on that as well. Yes, ladder monsters are harder. Oops. Okay, another Rao rune would get us there. Tal, tal, tal. Okay. So now just two amulets and we can craft two more amis. Looking for something nice. We'll see what we get. like 15% or something. There's one amulet. Monsters are like 15% harder on ladder. Something like that. More life damage. Maybe they react a little bit faster or something. Um, I don't know. They, 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 they beef them up a little bit more than on ladder. It's always been that way. Faster AI on ladder. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, it's a little echoey in here. That's just... Well, it is what it is. Yep, we got the book. More stats, more life to come. All the goodness. One thing that I didn't want to find there. Yeah, even though I'm playing online, 
lot of a lot of poison immunes in here, so we gotta be careful. I am I am playing solo online on ladder with this. So again, this should be a little bit better for anybody playing in single player. The nerdy, thank you. Thanks, RGC. Glad you're enjoying it. so much easy experience if we just want to sit around a tiny bit and wait for it. Look at this. So many. Maybe one day. Worth the poison sender? Yeah, you'd use a poison sender probably on this. Level 21 Valk. specific reason we're doing this on ladder I just wanted to make a character to, to have and I mean obviously getting it rushed here would just be way faster but I felt like yeah why not I'm trying out see how it feels you know we can heal you Okay. Yeah, once you rush to 99, you play the slow game a little bit sometimes. Okay, time for the sewers. Perfect. Goes the weasel. This is fully synergized. There's there's no more damage coming on it, which is you know a little sad. It'd be nice if we could get a little more damage going, but. Sell this. I'll we'll keep that amulet. We'll craft with it. Oh yeah, that's a wake up for sure. <laughs> yes, this will be uploaded to YouTube. Or as they say in Spain, La Yotuba, I believe. Okay, and we got more stats. Perfect. Let's kill Devil Slime, that'll help. is gonna have a little more trouble here but honestly she still holds up pretty well again just like So good compared to many of the other. Ow. 
Come on. Many of the other characters that try. Having that Valk there is so big. Easy. Too easy. Big old Valkyrie gal. craft with that. Let's do a craft and see how it goes. That there. Thirteen Ares, ten life, eleven mana. Not bad. Hitting the thirteen Ares is really big, so we lose the ten FRW. A tiny bit of life, but I think gaining 13 hour resistances is very, very solid. Not here. Gets our fire up into the positives now. Lightning getting better. I like it. Is the FCR useful? I mean, it can be if it gets us to a next breakpoint. I don't really know. We, we took stealth off, so... It probably isn't at 5%. I doubt that's getting us to any breakpoints. We don't have any other. There is a rare ring by the council members. Was there really? I don't remember that. Zon FCR breakpoints are terrible anyways. But if I could even speed up one or two, it would still be not bad. I would take it. Now, you may run into some gross stuff within here. You're going to have dolls. That's just going to exist. This is going to be a tough level. Oh, the set ring. Yeah. Now, getting a waypoint can be nice here. It can give you some options. Um... But yeah, you're, you're pretty much going to need to avoid, avoid, and avoid while you are down here. Rare Coronet. Well, Amazon skill maybe. Zeogre, thank you! Gizales. Dolls are very easy and lovely, not at all lethal. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And if you want this waypoint, get this waypoint for farming. Again, Fista may take a tiny bit of time, but... That is really also a fantastic place for farming. Let's see what we got. Ah, oh, it's trash. It's also, this might be one of the largest maps in the game down here in hell, so. That can be. Okay, why are we not teleporting? Really annoying. Just trying to navigate your way around it and find where the heck you're trying to go. Let's grab the waypoint. Or Why get not? the waypoint for safety if you think you might die trying to find level three. It's truth. The best thing to use against dolls is fend. Oh, I'm sure, yeah. That sounds real smart. Let me just fend all of these dolls real fast. What 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 could possibly go wrong? Sneaky around map. Okay. If you want to kill the council members, you can. If you want to skip them, you can also do that. Up to you. A lot could go wrong. Oh yeah, you're right. But you do want to keep your distance, uh, keeping Mephisto away from the sides and from the council members, as they will heal him. That's also a nasty attack. You don't want that. 
Now, you could also cheese him from afar if you would like. Really kind of up to you. For instance. There's a variety of places that you can cheese him from. So you just need to kind of get him caught in some sort of crevice. He'll move around. You can obviously do the cross the river cheese. Um, yeah, there's all sorts of stuff. All right, three more is good. Eh. How's the build been working? Been great. Take my Bezos money. Thank you, a white dude. Appreciate it. Now bosses do take a little time. Poison's not the uh, greatest boss killer, sadly. Other games do I enjoy outside of the Diablo franchise? Played a lot of Dota 2, a lot of StarCraft in my time. Um, Lom RPG, I can't wait for. Huge into that game. Can't, can't wait. All the stuff I've been reading and hearing about it. <laughs> and just like that, Success. Let's do it. you are the proud owner. Of an act three completed. How's on? Oh, that's hundred percent truth and us. Ooh, one fifteen enhanced damage, but Required level 48, not bad. 210 strength, though. This is 23 to strength. But we still can't get him there. He'd be way off of that for a while. We'd have to hell this and then just shove a bunch of... Put an amethyst in that and keep going. Alright. Y'all know what time it is. Act four! It's an okay belt, but 106 strength. We say no thanks. Never, never heard anything like that. Ah, oh, darn, it was a gem shrine. Clicked before I looked. More stuff if you want more experience. Outer Steps, another great place to uh, kind of get it here. Pretty easy kills for us. And just a lot of good stuff, uh, a lot of good experience there overall. Pretty high level as well area for us, so we like it. Bill's just an exceptional base that you can get earlier, that's all. Murder all the cliff lurkers. So a good version. It's de definitely different. Planes of Despair. Again, we may run into souls. If that happens, there's the souls we may run into. You can always come back if you want. You don't have to fight them.
nice and easy usual spawn though. But yeah, we can always reset the game if we feel bad about the usual spawn. If it's or about the not the usual spawn. Just the souls. They're too gross, too painful. Usual getting shredded right now, yeah. So what we can actually do as well is when he dies, he kills all those things around him, and so now all those souls that were right around him are dead, which is nice. Another point for Valkyrie, more vitality. We're level 64, I mean, so simple. So simple, look at this experience. Okay, there's some souls. Don't really enjoy uh, this. Not a fun area. Thankfully, we have 38 light res, and we didn't run into any super bosses of them that were, you know, too stacked. Too much damage, so we're able to get through. Drop a safety TP for ourselves here. Terrorize zones do work for super chests, yes. And plenty of stuff to, uh... You have a way to avoid, that's why we're not having a terrible time. I mean, it is nice. Even those, you know, four points in evade, avoid, dodge, whatever, getting that 34, 41% definitely helps. And it's a lot nicer now, so. Yeah, they fixed it up. Mr. Moonpox. It's dead. What do you think about rumors going around about heavy dupes this season? I think there's a lot of duping this season, maybe. Whenever there's a lot of new mechanics and things brought in, a lot of times it can change stuff and create some sort of area that people can dupe or abuse it. Hey, Sergeant. Why do souls do so much damage in general? They just do. They're just big old tank of things. How do you feel about cheating? <laughs> Alright. Let's go here. Let's repair. I mean, I've got over 30,000 hours. Most of it's in Diablo 2. Oopsies. Okay, so now we gotta see how this gonna go. We can of course go in as slow as we would like. We do have some poison immunes there. So we can think about that, but Otherwise, good time. Venom Lords will be slow, but. Oh my gosh. Should be actually uh, not bad in the Hell Chaos here. Which is really nice. I don't think there's any poison immunes, actually. Venom Lords will just take a while to kill. 
But we, of course, have low resist one for uh, that later on as well. We can start looking to use that here. Extra fast is not fun. Neither is the Decrepify. We need to kill that speedy guy. He is a giant pain. And just kill these guys here more. Devil bang the mad. Oblivion Knights just overall are gonna be uh, kinda brutal for us. But! Not too shabby. Killing them off bit by bit. Make sure we get some Venom Lords in there as well. Okay, perfect. Mage Plate for gold. Stormcasters will die pretty quickly, so don't need to worry too much about those. I do need to worry about getting caught in a area that I'm going to die, though. So I can't really go up there quite yet. But no worries, we can always just kill off some stuff and be patient. Exactly, binary. Okay, and as we start to narrow those guys down, we can start heading back up here. And to go and... Oh my gosh, there's so many of them. No, I got trapped! Oh, that's really bad, actually. <laughs> Dead. That's what I needed to avoid. I was just trying to rush because I thought, there's no way that all the way up there, there are going to be even more of them. But there were. It's okay. Well, again, on hardcore, you don't do that. That's the, the difference. Also, we actually made it out until it lagged and put us back in. So that's the problem with playing online. Is it's always, it does that fake out, make out. Fake out, make out. What is this, my high school girlfriend? Come on. All right. Continue on over. Oh, there 
There's too much stuff, man. Oh yeah, I forgot I could just put a Valkyrie up over there and we would have been fine. I forgot we had Valkyrie. Oopsies. That would have saved us. I was like, I know I'm forgetting something. Valkyrie's a Giga Chat, exactly. Whoa! Whoa, I thought I said a TP back there. Ouch! I didn't see that death. I didn't even see it was hitting me. Further away than I thought. Oh, I don't. I got some reach on him. Okay. Let's get you guys away. Y'all come this way. After this run, could you try and test out the viability of a Frost Nova Sork? I think it would be really strong with the Cold Sunder Charm. Frost Nova? I don't think it would be that great. My god, they're teleporting all over the place, man. Server's struggling. Ouch. Stab it! Stab it! Let me get to my body. Are you on it? Okay. I played that slightly unsafe and then got punished hugely. My goodness. Oh, because I wanted to skip through a tiny bit. Go slightly faster. That's what you get. me. Alright. Understand. Let's go ahead and get the boss. Let me get potions. Might as well kill them all together. Mm 
Okay. Nice and easy. Breathe in the poison. My precious. There's an experience on it too. Easy. Really uh, pretty easy chaos. 10 FCR. But. Not even death can save you from me. Fiery oatmeal raisin cookies, the best cookies ever made. I ask that same question every day. It's amazing. How good they are. Go Valkyrie, go! Look at her, just frozen. <laughs> when am I gonna do 1 to 99 solo? I've done 1 to 99 solo. Perfect. That was simple, you guys. My goodness. That was so easy. Trash, trash, trash. And trash. Bye, bye. Clap, clap. Stats. Repair and repair. I'm mean, again. I died because I was rushing that's all it, it would have been very easy to have zero deaths in that chaos if we wanted very easy and now we've maxed out valkyrie so now we can go ahead and start putting points into decoy and bumping up the life of the valkyrie Now this is one of my least favorite areas. I hate the bloody foothills. Stairs, archers, plague jabs turned into the word of the Valkyrie's mercenary, no way. Plague Jab just has so few skill points that it really opens up the option of do you want to also go into like Charge Strike with it? Which honestly is maybe not the worst idea since Charge Strike now no longer gets points from Lightning Fury, so you can kind of just go Charge Strike Plague Jab. But again, you know, Lightning Fury is just so amazing, right? Whatever. But you, you only need 40 points plus a couple. To get poison, so you can go into jab, you can go into fire arrow if you wanted, you can go into, you know, max valve, whatever you want. Mm. How are you, kill wave two? Um, Valk is our, is our hope there. Oh boy. Is 
there an echo on my mic? I think it's just tinny, like the room isn't great for it. I hope there's not an echo though. Another great place to farm if you do want to farm some more levels. Especially with your big, big Valk, you could definitely do this players three, players four, players five on single player. Get some okay experience for uh, very little. Time we play a guided playthrough, man. Did you use the troll seed for this run? Every time. At least this one's online, so we can use that. And just like that, nice and easy, you found yourself a 39 life uh, PNB skiller. How easy was that? Give yourselves the clap, everybody, for your great find. Wow. For the character we don't have yet, but coming soon. Wow. She's doing great. She's actually doing like really well because not only is she you know, able to get through and kill bosses, but a lot of times with these builds, you, you have to kill the bosses and like nothing else, you know? It's like, okay, and it starts to fall off really hard. You can't really sit down and kill a lot of stuff. She can kill a lot of things in a lot of areas. Um, so she's actually pretty superb, I feel like, for a solo self-found playthrough, because there's just so many things that she does decent enough damage. I mean, look at that. Like, is it crazy fast now? Is it fast enough to to kill different things and get experience and hang out? Yeah, sure. You you can just drop drop stuff really easy as you're as you're running by and it's quite nice. Plus, there's not really a lot of poison immunes that we've had to deal with, you know, and run into, and it's been, like, a horrible time. Now, she still has her weaknesses, for sure. But... Oh my god. That didn't even make sense. The pathing online, man, sometimes drives me insane. Sometimes the online pathing drives me insane. The character's fine, 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 dead. Come on! These guys are so brutal. Ah! Oh. See, it's like going through and then they teleport in front of you. It's really hard. Don't touch me.
It's a pretty nasty. Infidels are really rough. Okay. This is what happens online, man. That is one of the worst parts I feel like about online right now, especially on D2R, is anytime you're about to like escape monsters, you you escape and then it teleports you back in. We're just gonna reset that. That's just gross. I don't I don't feel like dying ten times trying to get my body again there. We got the waypoint, so we're we're happy. You get, like, the rubber banding into the monsters, though. It's very strange. It's a different than it used to be. Before, you'd kind of rubber band back. But here, the rubber band is always that rubber bands you into mobs. Or you drink your rejuve and you die without without it going off. Yeah, there's definitely been times where I've I drink a rejuve and then you hear it go gulp and then you die and you're like, wait, what? Why didn't it go off? I much prefer hardcore on single player. A lot of poison immunes out here, so nothing really worth stopping to try and kill. We're just gonna get past everything. Take it to the Tundra, or the Telly spell doesn't go off. Yeah, that happens often as well. Now you either want to get the waypoint out here, or you want to get the waypoint at the Ancient's Way. You can get both, whatever, but definitely good to have it at least in one of those places, I would say. True. I mean, I've got decoy set as well. Valk, I was just hoping for a little more survivability. My decoy dies very quick. That also happens, binary. potions from this. Couple reaches, maybe? Nope. All good. All right. Ancient's way time. Oh boy. Pike women. Now the good news is we actually kill pike women pretty fast. The bad news is they also kill us pretty fast. So there's trade-offs. Alright, is there any vibes? No more VOD uploads? I, I just had the 99 grind and there was so much stuff from that. I need to highlight a billion things, honestly. So maybe we go do that here. After this. But yeah, I just, I had, I needed a couple days off after that 99 grind. It was a lot. Ancient's time. Perfect. Oh, have a good day. Thanks, Bloomy. Now again, we're mostly gonna be fine here with uh, stuff. If we want, we can put more potions into like our inventory or our uh, stash cube. You know, one of those things. We can also drop potions on the ground, whatever we need. I imagine we really won't need a lot of potions here. Um, I, I think it should be pretty smooth. 
We've got our lower res. I, I think this will go, go pretty nicely. We're mostly just not wanting them to be like ridiculous. My main thoughts. And then uh, maybe not like, hmm, I think does magic resistant add poison immune as well? I don't think it does. But poison's actually pretty good versus the ancients. Plus Valk is pretty solid as well. So. Yeah. Really shouldn't be too bad here. Yeah, you really don't even need potions on ground stuff. I mean, she's, she's going to clean up pretty well. They're going to be a little fast and annoying. Oh boy. Can just lower res them. But mostly just uh, throw kite, throw kite. Yeah, it's nothing crazy. Make sure that you know you're keeping them poisoned as much as you can. These guys will get poisoned. Example of the Frost Nova Sword, and with five skillers Torch Annie and Cold Gear, I got it to 1751 to 1929 DMG and minus 195% with 33 skills left. Not perfect gear, so maybe 200 more DMG possible. Mm -hmm. Do you have Fathom and Nightwings and stuff though? Let's get, be careful not to get teleported on. But yeah, there's really not a lot. You just don't want them to be like Might, Fanata, Extra Fast, Curse, like all that kind of combined. That can be a little bit too nasty. So just roll stuff that makes you feel safe, but these Ancients should not be very difficult at all for you. Gotcha. Fathom and Nightwing, not perfect percent, but cold facet in. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Easy. Another point in decoy, more vitality. Let's go ahead and break the curse off our head. We'll swap this back out. And we can have a couple thawing potions as well, just for a little bit of cold res heading into here. And let's actually repair. We only have five charges left on our telly staff. You don't really want that to be close to zero. We don't have enough gold. Um, we'll sell some things. <laughs> because if that drops, then can put you in trouble. This is a spicy area. <laughs> Another amulet we can craft with if we want. Again, 
we can actually fight stuff in this area. So if you're slow pushing through, like, you can, all oh, right, seven, you can totally go through this area slower. That is a completely viable way to play it and not be uh, so, you know, having to run scared everywhere kind of thing. <laughs> Perfect, level two. <laughs> All right. Soul killers. Hopefully that means no souls. Darn it. I thought the soul killers would kill the souls. Ridiculous. Okay, now getting the waypoint down here. Pretty important, I would say. Um, oh no, don't have Conviction Aura. Please, no. As resetting your throne can become a thing that just needs to happen. Kind of flat out. Sometimes it's kind of required almost. Okay. So our waypoint is down below, it looks like. Oh, hello. Thank you, Valkyrie, for being a big old tanky girl. Okay, now we do have to pass by souls to get to the waypoint. Oh god, and they're champions. Whew! Alright, we did it. Again, sometimes, if it's just so gross, if it was just horrible in there, I would just reset come back in, wait until I didn't get souls, and I would grab that waypoint from, you know, Ancients or wherever and go from there. Sometimes you just gotta do it. It's not the most fun, but you can get absolutely disgusting groups so you're just gonna have no chance ever getting past. But we've made it in. Let's see what we get down here. Okay, snakes are going to be poison immune, so that's a little bit annoying. We'll see how many of those we have. If they're in our throne, etc. And there is absolutely nothing in our throne room. Well, I don't hate that. Schwaggle, thank you! If you just get such a bad drawing of monsters in here, it's just impossible to kill. Again, reset. That's always kind of your easy answer. Now we will have Achman, and he's going to be, Achman is going to be poisoned. So that is going to be annoying. Decoy, more vitality. Let's go here really quickly. So that helps clear up some of the corpses, and now we can also look to uh, bring back 
these guys kind of get them out of range so they're dying back here we can also kill these guys outside as well And just try and make a little bit of space for ourselves. Nice and easy. Andy Hellrun, P3 is usually pretty good. Okay, why would you turn that far around? Come on. Okay, kill that skelly. monster heal. Right, let's go get our mercenary as well. Yeah, that poison is so nasty. I don't have gold for mercenary. What is this nonsense? Let's build Yam RPG. I don't hate that either. Uh, let's try crafting one more amulet just for fun. Ah, PNB skills. <laughs> Unfortunate. Okay, and... Let's sell Scan the Flayed One. Help you. Sell that. And repair you. Okay. Let's get some poison potions as well. Get him. Get him. Even though my poison doesn't hurt him, I can at least hit him with the javelin and maybe it, you know, does a tiny bit. No, my mercenary! So it may be best to just drag him. That may be our ultimate strategy here. Mm. No, we didn't find the limit. We could also get Prevent Monster Heal. Yeah, we could do the go shop for that really fast, but to be able to use it on anything, really. I mean, it's fine. We, we can always drag outside. Again, if we have our mercenary as well, he'd be totally fine. Let's unsummon. So what you can do to drag these guys is you can actually get between a pillar and them. 
And then they'll try and chase you. Otherwise, they're not going to really chase you. Yep. And then eventually they'll stop. And now you're good. But yeah, using the pillar to your advantage is uh, quite helpful. I won't lie. If they get kind of caught on some things sometimes, again, you can just go try again with the pillar. Also, if you... Oh, no, I forgot TP. Oh, no, I didn't. Okay, it was up here. Woo! I was like, wait, where did I put it? If you, uh... Are far enough back, then your Valkyrie won't be dealing with getting... Um... Decrepified, and it'll be a lot easier for her to kill, so... Just note that as well. But when she's trying to hit him while decrepified, good luck. Okay, we can pick up some things for gold. And I am definitely dragging wave four, as there is no way to even break this immunity. So. Gosh, she's so tanky, though. Wave four and five are just really rough for poison. So we want to get them outside for sure. And get them down here if possible. And that's also why having a throne cleared out a little bit deeper can also be really helpful. So just clearing a throne right inside and having all that space behind is going to be pretty rough. Um, definitely is helpful to clear it with a little bit of space. That way you can have some drag room. You just gotta make sure you get the boss out. It's the main thing. Once you get there, you're good to go. Just gotta get him outside of that line, essentially, of when it enters. Because again, this character fighting those waves. I mean, we could actually probably fight that last wave. It still wouldn't be fun, but it would at least probably be possible. Now you just lay it into Veil right here. Yeah, last wave poison. They just have really good poison res. The damage is terrible, and then the, the pre fourth wave is impossible to break. I'm pretty sure it is. Even if you did break it, it would be so pathetic. Wouldn't be worth it in any capacity. I mean, Sunder Charm obviously breaks it, but it'll still be really awful. When I say impossible break, I mean with like lower resist or conviction. Well, conviction doesn't even work on poison, so lower resist.
Sender's level 75 anyways. Now, are many of you probably 75 at this point? I'd say yes. Especially with how easy it is to level her up if you're playing in players one. I think it'd be very easy for many of you to be level 75 by now. Now, if you want to get rid of the clone, I don't really mind the clone right now that much because I'm just kind of hitting both of them with poison. But if you want to get rid of the clone, you can just go away from it. Make sure your portal is also away. And just be away from the clone and bail for like eight seconds. If you do that, when you go back, the clone and all of the tentacles that were there will be gone. Nice and easy. Let's actually go and try and get our mercenary as well. He's probably gonna die again, just cause that's what he likes to do, but go get the gold. He does have crushing blow on. Um, so kind of want to see. Afternoon. With the crush and blow, how he'll, uh, if he can at least get a couple shots in, you know, before Bale kills him. Probably not Ben. Let's give him some cold resistance. Nope, he couldn't make it. Too much uh, pushback, unfortunate. Feels bad. I actually needed teleport so I could teleport on top of Bale and it would maybe give him a couple of shots. But obviously I had lower res still, so he had to fend for himself, and once he fends for himself there, it's just done. Again, we can just come away for eight seconds. Go back. and despawn everything. You don't even have to go to town. You just literally have to get a couple screens off from him. Yeah, he, he was only 58. I mean, I'm only 67. I could go higher a level 66 or whatever, but it's all good. Oh yeah, Clementus. Rune drops will definitely increase high rune drops if uh, you go and like kill stuff in Nightmare now because now they can drop there. Bale is a him? Yes. And Dariel is a girl. The others are boys, except Diablo. There's a boy here. I guess could be a girl here as well. Depends what you... What was it? But and Diablo 3, it's a girl. Vessel is a girl, he's still a guy. I don't know. Long fight? This is Hell Bale, man. Or, yeah. It's really not that long for Hell Bale. But it's also, I mean, this is poison damage. Even the best poison damage in the game is still slow against Hell Bale. Just bosses with super high life totals like that. Best level is to gamble certain items. I mean, a lot of that probably depends on what you're trying to gamble as well. So, no, because there's too many just things. And you're not going to be trying to gamble crazy stuff. Like, 
trying to gamble for griffins and things is one of those. If it happens, it happens. But like, even like gambling for SOJ, it's like, are, are people really gonna sit at level 44 or whatever the best level is? Trying to gamble for some crazy thing, it's way faster to just go do Nightmare and Dario runs. Pots will. Yeah, but they'll just do the Nightmare and Dario runs and it'll be way faster. And you can't even gamble for Tyrael's Knight. Pretty sure. Right? Actually, wait, no, you can. It's like 1 in 21 trillion or something chance. Something awful. It's probably not that bad. No, no, it's not 1 in 21 trillion chance. But it's like 21 trillion gold. Sorry. And Ariel is the only female of the seven evils in D3 Diablo. Just Posse's a female, sort of like a ghost or a demon. Gotcha. Lore. Who keeps up with that? Let's D3. Feeds me. All I know is D2? Dunzo. And just like that. Congratulations. Give yourself one final clap. Hell bail, all done on the poison plague javelin, Amazon. Really, uh, not a bad playthrough. I'm not gonna lie. Pretty easy. There were only a few areas, few zones where you know I was like, all right, I wish I had a little more crowd control and stuff. Um, but other than that, like, I'd feel pretty comfortable playing this through hardcore. And we found a skiller. Can't, can't be upset with that. So, here is our final gear, final look at our character. We've got some, uh, random just jabs, plus one. We've got our lore helm. We've got 13 all res amulet we crafted, 10 life, 11 mana. Rhyme shield, cannot be frozen, 30 fast to run walk, 25 fire res, little belt we shopped, 30 light res, 20 light res, little magic find, and then peace to get the Amazon skills and all of that. We also of course had our lower res wand, our uh, teleport staff, here we're just Random other jabs that weren't anything special. Nice Oreo. 18 life, 7 fire res, 13 life, just random. Where would you recommend Not really farm with find any good charms Seems here. Like good info before video end. Uh, cows, honestly, would be a good spot. But this is one that can definitely go around to the different, like, terror zones. So we could, like, make a new game. See what area is terrorized. Tower Ashes. Okay. That's not like an amazing area for this character, but like Flare Jungle, when the Flare Jungle was, you know, that's a fantastic place to farm. Outer Steps wasn't bad. I mean, Cold Plains, Dark Woods, Pits, whatever stuff. There's, there's, there's a lot of areas that I think are, are really solid for uh, this character's farming. So I think that's actually a really fun part about her is she does have a lot of options. And as you get more and more skills and, you know, get your titans, get whatever stuff, uh, obviously she'll improve. Um, stats and skills, here we are. Mostly vitality. You'll probably bump your strength and dex up for some better jabs as you get along. And then here, maxed and maxed. And that's it. Then we just went into maxing out our Valkyrie, put a few points into Pierce. Um... 
one on one and then just kind of maxing Valkyrie, nothing in bow. But again, if you wanted to not go this route and instead go into like exploding arrow, you could totally do that. Because we've got 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, I think, 29 points that we could push over into exploding and fire arrow instead and run like a poison fire. At the same time, we could also run charge strike and try and go a little charge strike mix with plague jab or lightning fury and plague jab and do some like weird combo of that where it would be okay but the valk is safe fun i think it fits well with the build because you need a little cc with it while you kind of wait for the poison damage to hit i don't know so um i did when i drag into my youtube uh yeah that's that don't forget to like and subscribe youtube I hope that you enjoyed this run. I hope you enjoyed your character. A little bit of an offshoot, but uh, I thought it was pretty solid. Peace, everybody.